Tire loads were back, and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Yeah, so check here i7 agent HP laptop. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Let's plug the charger. This came here with no powering. Let's plug the charger. So we need HP blue pin, right? Yeah, let's switch to 19. So plug in the charger and it's taking like 20 milliamps and the charger light kind of flashing you can see it yeah check there 20 milliamps is it's it's a little bit too much for this kind of laptop pressing the power button nothing happened check here it's dead and it's not reading the ec chip is not reading the power button now I'm also curious what is taking 20 milliamps. I mean, you always have to pay attention on what is taking the current and why. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the laptop is open. You know what is interesting? The battery is not charging. That means the EC chip is not really working. We do have a bio chip here. Motherboard looks like new. Let's unplug the battery, BIOS battery, let's plug the charger, and it's doing exactly the same thing, I'm curious to see what it's taking, 20 milliamps, but before we are start, let's, checking, uh, let's check the coils, yeah, let's see what do we have, here we have 20 ohms, here we have 5 ohms, so this is the CPU, 5 ohms, then here we have 7 ohms, which is fine. Here we have 73 ohms, that's fine. Here is fine. Here is fine. Here is fine. I mean, everything looks fine. Here is fine. And here is fine. I mean, everything is good. Let's see here, this one is fine, this one is fine. This one is fine. Main power rail? Main power rail is good, it's not shorted. Everything looks good on this laptop. I'm wondering what can be the problem. So plug in the charger back, let's check some voltages. Main power rail. Main power rail has 13.2. You can see on the screen 13.2. Then we have the BIOS chip, which has 3.2. 3.3, you can see. So the BIOS chip has voltage. Okay, now... We are on the same point like on the beginning. I want to know what is taking 20 milliamps. Mm -hmm. Let me grab the thermal camera. Twenty milliamps it's a lot. Okay, whatever it is, it's not on this side of the board. So check here. Uh Is something there you can see is something there but here that's the back of the board so it's not on this side of the board so I will say let's take the motherboard out and have a look on the other side you know what I really want to understand the logic yeah <clears throat> so let's say uh, okay everywhere is like uh, normal Phillips screws yeah but those from the battery are like the the playstation screws i mean what is the idea hmm? what is the idea on doing something like that apart from annoying someone who has to replace the battery what is the idea you know i wish like you know like a designer from uh, hp to tell me what is the idea Apart from just, you know, making the life harder for the customer if you're trying to 
if he's trying to replace the battery. No other reason, 100% no other reason. This is freaking insane. I mean, I, I believe they are doing it on purpose. So basically, to take out the motherboard, you have to take out the fan. The screws are open from the fan, but check here, yeah? You see this screw and this screw are actually from uh, behind of the keyboard. So we have to take the keyboard out. I mean, some manufacturers really are reaching a whole new level when it's about designing. I mean, the way how the keyboard is connected, I seen it on like 15 years ago laptops or HP and Lenovo. Because any other manufacturer, you know, it will bring the keyboard connector on one side of the motherboard. So actually this fan has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six screws. I mean, it's like, you know, like a jet plane fan. It's not like a laptop fan. Freaking finally. Whoa, what is here? What is... Oh, lol. Check that. Check that. Everywhere is liquid damage. Can you see? Like everywhere. You see, now it's making sense. Yeah, liquid damage. It's a liquid damage job. Now, this is some kind of sweet liquid. Yeah, you can see it's getting sticky. You can see that? So how we are cleaning the sticky liquid damage? Hmm? Let's check under the microscope. So here, wow, here is looking bad. I mean, here is looking proper bad. One second, this is the uh, PD controller for the USB-C. Here is some like bad looking capacitor, but I can bet they are good. Because I checked the motherboard for short and the motherboard is not shorted. Yeah, you see, it's not short. But that uh, regulator is looking very bad. And that's all, otherwise the motherboard is fine. So how we are cleaning this? With water. So let me grab my fizzy water. Just a little bit. I mean, I don't have water, I have fizzy water, but probably, you know, it'll make no difference. Yeah, that's water. Fizzy water! <laughs> and now let's clean it, yeah? Here, here. Water is perfect for a uh, sweet liquid uh, damage. So how is looking, huh? How is looking for you? Perfect or not? Let's check under the microscope the damage. So here is fine. Lol, I can't believe actually that regulator is still good. This one. The pins are still uh, still fine, are still in place. This is the EC chip. Ah, I can't believe the AC chip was getting hot. The AC chip is burned. We are wasting time, I can't believe. Yeah, and here got cleaned nicely. Yeah, I believe the AC chip is burned. That's what I believe. But we can check that. Because the AC chip, check here. 
it's exactly here where it was uh, getting hot. Feels bad. Let's dry it. Good. Let's plug the charger. The motherboard started 460 milliamps. We have orange light. The AC chip can be good. 500 milliamps. Obviously, the CPU probably is getting mad hot, and it is. Fixing a laptop just by cleaning? Wow. This is new. Okay, let's spend another half an hour to put the motherboard back in order to test it. Now, just, uh, you know, um, I want to make you understand the reality on a computer shop, yeah? So forget about YouTube. This laptop is coming from a computer shop. So, uh, at least here in UK, here in UK. So you don't have time to spend. I mean, if I, even on the shop I work, yeah, I open the laptop and I don't see liquid damage on this side of the board, I will not take the motherboard out to check on the other side because of the time. So I need to spend like 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, I can do a Windows job, job and take 45 pounds. Like 100% I can take that money. So uh, I don't want to judge, you know, the, uh, the computer shop actually, they work on this laptop. But that's the reality, yeah? Uh, I will not risk 10 minutes to take the motherboard out just to find out actually it's no liquid damage and I can't fix it. Uh, I prefer just, you know, to make that job like unrepairable <clears throat> and move to something, you know, 100% I can make money. I mean, this is the world we are living in. I didn't make the rules, I just try to explain how it's in a, in a computer shop. And actually, if you are on this channel for a long time, you remember the, my videos from the shop and the videos which I'm doing from uh, from home. Just because, you know, being home, being my own boss, I'm, uh, I'm okay just to spend time for a good video. I'm not stressed about how much money I should make in one hour, like how it's in a shop. Don't get me wrong, no one it will tell you, okay, you have to do this kind of money. No one, but... Uh, if you're an honest guy, you'll feel bad if you actually you spend time or waste time. Uh, you know, you you took the that you will feel bad just because you took the decision to spend time on something which was not worth it. I mean, the only part why I work on that show for ten years is because even on that show I was my own boss. I was doing my own prices on my own time. I work how long I want. And no one will tell me what to do. That's, that's the reason why I stay on that show like for 10 years. And I was well paid. I was doing more money from the job, which compared which one do it from, from home. But that's a different story. I'm just, you know, I opened this, uh, this gusher because I seen on the chat. You remember I had uh, many jobs like, wow, but why, why they didn't check? The people were said, why? That computer, that laptop is coming from a computer show. Why they didn't check? And that's the reason why. I think actually the people from this channel, look, the people looking on my videos actually are skilled people. And you have a, when you have a laptop with, uh, what was last video when you said, uh, why, why did you check? Let me remember. Yeah, this video, the last one, you remember this one with the, with the HP, you remember with the liquid damage on the BQ chip. And so how that laptop is coming from a computer, why did you check? And that's the reason why. And it's normal. For me, it doesn't look like uh, it's out of normal. What is out of normal, I said it on the I said it on the video, was actually the laptop came from no power and actually had a cracked screen. You remember that Toshiba laptop? I upload the video. Let's check it. Let's test it. 
to plug in the charger. Now we don't have heatsink, we don't need heatsink because we have thermal pads. We have thermal pads. Yeah, that's fine. Let's wait and see the picture. If we are seeing the picture, that means the job is done. I mean, I don't know about the keyboard, if it's working, but that's a different story. We have picture. I can't believe actually just by cleaning the motherboard, we fix it. Unbelievable. Okay, we saying like the, you know, the bio ship and things like that. Okay, let's check, if, let's check if it's charging. You know, I'm curious if the laptop is charging. Let's see. Plug in the charger. So you see the liquid damage job, you can fix it just by cleaning. Not always, but you know, sometimes, yeah. You can see the pre-charge current, 130 milliamps. It has a pre-charge current. And we have 11.2 and it's going up. You can see on the screen, 11.4, 5, 6, yeah. You see 2 amps, that's the charging current. 3 amps, lol, my power supply is limiting. Huh? No, the laptop is not on. It's only the charging current. 1.8. Three point one amps. That's the charging current. It's working fine. Um, I'm gonna stop here. Let me unplug the charge. I'll put it all back together. I will not keep you here. But yes, sometimes, and uh, that's nice. You know, just cleaning the board, and it will fix the problem. And remember, we start from what? We start from a little bit extra current. Usually, 10 milliamps is fine. 20 is not. I mean, I've seen 20 milliamps being fine on a gaming laptop, but not on this one. I mean, 20 milliamps for a laptop which is off, it's a lot. So I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Bye.